And we're nice. off. We're fucking having sex. Wednesday. What is it? October 10th. <laughs> Wednesday, October 69th. Is gay sex cool? Three yeah. experts weigh in. Uh, yes. Well, I, I believe that it's, uh, I don't know whether you could say I it's cool, it. but uh, it certainly feels good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, four out of five dentists agree uh, getting fucked in your ass feels great. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damn, I do want to ask dentists what yeah. they think about getting fucked in the ass. That's a fun bit. It's like, yeah, who's the the trident who's dentist? Who's the fifth? Who's the fifth dentist? That's like, trident, suck my fucking cock. <laughs> that's probably a cool dentist. Yeah, yeah. he's like, eat he my does, ass, he'll trident. never sell yeah. out. I'm not. I'm a. I'm a soul dentist. He'll he'll never sell out to big gum. Well, he recommends brushing your teeth with his cum. Yeah, that's why he doesn't recommend trident. Well, maybe he's not so cool. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Remember that dentist that just like snuck cum into women's mouths? No, he shot like a. Uh, he was like, all right, that's we'll one just... of the McDonald's characters. Right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's he's the Hamburglar's brother. Yeah. <laughs> the Hamburglar's the brother. Cum dentist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just grimace, the bird bitch, yep. the Hamburglar, mm-hmm. and the cum dentist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. The seventies man was a different time when they yeah. came up with those <laughs> with those characters. Who are the McDonald's characters? Let me see if there's some I'm forgetting. I know there's like two nuggets. Yes, there's the little nuggets. There are? Yeah, for sure. Ronald, of course. Anthropomorphic nuggets. Ronald. I think there's like That's a your contribution is Ronald. <laughs> you didn't say it. I think there's like a some kind of captain or something. Some kind of nautical guy. It kind of looks like... Captain yeah, you're Crunch. right. Dude, you got... Stav's got this. Of Thank course you. he's got it. Thank you. <laughs> this is his fucking He doesn't know anything. But <laughs> he knows this is going to be like the last... extremely obscure <laughs> McDonald's character that I've never before seen in my life. He literally knows nothing. <laughs> well, which one of you motherfuckers knew about the little captain guy from McDonald's, I feel like bitch? probably you felt during the movies game that we were playing. Yep. Yeah, we should do that. No, I this is Ambrose Burnside looking scientist. I guess he's a miner. I don't remember. No, yeah. hold on, dude. I'm doing this. I got. There's like a girl, Why do you right? Do this fucking third grade game where I'm not allowed to look at pictures you're looking at or videos. Well, because... I'm sorry. Uh, have you not been to third grade? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I didn't mean to offend you by having been to third grade. <laughs> I didn't realize you were too stupid to go to third grade. Whoa! And you're uh, uh, you get your feelings hurt whenever third grade stuff comes up. No, well, whenever we revert back to it. Oh, rever- it's reverted. Now I'm reverting, huh? Oh, you revert, brother. Yeah, you Karis Levert revert. Oh, that's out to the Brooklyn. That's a little. Edge. That's a little NBA yeah. reference. <laughs> Pipecast coming back in Is the it? next six months. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sunday. We'll if someone Ronald's does all the work dog. for us, we'll, it'll come back. I guess Ron, Ronald McDonald McDonald's has a dog. There's a dog. Isn't there like a sexy girl too? Um, let's see here. Uh-huh. Yes. Well, there's the the chicken bitch. No, isn't there like a real woman? Yeah, Elle McPherson. Kathy Ireland. I mean, I would have sex with whatever woman is inside that chicken costume. Yep. While I'll she's fuck. wearing it. That would be hot, dude. Can you imagine? She's like, i got to be back at work in 15 minutes. <laughs> You're like, oh, trust me, I will be done. Oh, that. that will not be an issue, baby girl. <laughs> you will be, you'll be clocked in 17 minutes early. <laughs> <laughs> My dick travels yeah. back in time. It's so small. <laughs> P.S. I already came. <laughs> as soon as you said chicken, bitch, <laughs> the nuts were flowing. The quantum oh, leap. Damn. Every time I come, my dick is so little, it, it does a, a rips the time. I would love Space-time that. Space-time continuum. That would be cool. And then people have to fuck you for the good of the world. Yeah. You know? So oh, there's Ronald's two, like... Dog, he hates ticks. He's in a conflict with the Hamburglar. Mostly in Visitors from Outer Space, which is the xenophobic McDonald's movie. Mm-hmm. When uh, immigrants come and they try to change the language you order yeah. at McDonald's with. <laughs> <laughs> they try and serve tacos. Right. And Hamburglar and Grimace have to team up. So they get some tiki torches and then <laughs> <laughs> drive the McDonald's Challenger through. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Grimace is on the yeah. tiki torch team. Yeah, he is. I think Grimace is an African-American male. Yeah, Grimace is definitely a fat black guy. Yeah, that's, I, I used to do that bit about how they put lips on him for Black History Month. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good bit. Thanks, man. <laughs> Grimace is a large purple character. 
Uh, used to be evil. What? Yeah. Oh yeah, he was the original hamburger. He yeah. is a check a checkered past. Hamburglar. He would he would he was he was the guy that stole hamburgers before they invented the hamburglar. Mm-hmm. Oh, the they the, retconned him so a POC. He also right. used to have problem. four arms. Whoa, I don't remember that. Yeah. That's some wild like Goro. Shit. Like Goro, <laughs> yeah. Fat <laughs> Goro. Commercials and merchandise generally portray Grimace as a well meaning simpleton whose clumsy antics provide a comic foil to Ronald McDonald. So I guess, Stav, you're like Grimace, and I'm like Ronald. Mm -hmm. And Adam, yeah. of course, is the chicken bitch. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought you were going to call me the thieving Jew. What about but... the turd burglar? Yeah, that's Adam. That's you, I Adam. I steal shit. Yeah, from a man's ass. Literal Somebody human. wakes up, they're like, oh my God, my turds. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like somebody's reached into my ass and stolen all my turds. God damn it. <laughs> turd burglar, wasn't that a, a anti, uh, like a homophobic term? Yeah, I think so. Or am I just making that up? No, yeah. I've heard turd burglar before. I think so too, right? Ass, ass, uh, clown, butt pirate. Butt pirate is really good. Butt pirate should make a full comeback. <laughs> butt pirate's really That's good. That's a great one. Well, I think I've said Grimace, this before. Grimace has an unnamed mom, an unnamed dad, a grandma named Winky, a great great grandma named Jenny Grimace. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it's who, a is whole getting, backstory. who is and, selectively getting into Grimace's family tree? And might have a brother named King Gonga, who is the king of all Grimaces. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Might? What the fuck do they Dude, mean? I just want to. I want to be a screenwriter for McDonald's. I want to be McDonald's in-house <laughs> yeah, screenwriter yeah. that historian. I, yeah, yeah. That just writes all of their fucking weird movies. Yeah, that'd be great. There's the Bible. Who there's came the up McDonald's with King Gonga? I mean, if if Grimace wasn't racist enough, mm -hmm. yeah. they're like, we've got King Gonga. He's the king of all grimaces. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Well, yeah, in uh, Grimace Land, before the Hamburglar stole them and sold them into slavery, them the, yeah. they were kings. <laughs> they were kings. They King had names Gonga. like Gonga. You know what I like about the Hamburglar is he gets out of prison, right? He escapes. Mm. <laughs> Continues yep. wearing the prison clothes, but puts a cape on. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, true. You can never forget that time. Well, maybe that's to cover up his ass because maybe someone ripped the prison thing uh, mm -hmm. pants to fuck his ass. Oh, it's ass. right here. It's often stated that Hamburglar was sexually assaulted in prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> that does, in the that commercials, explains it is a lot. often stated. <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up. That you made, that's a joke, right? Uh, yes. Thank yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, I mean, who knows, man? Who knows no, what he's that's reading? That's true, dude. <laughs> Um, I know it's not true, but who knows what the Hamburglar think that's spoke a... in gibberish, which was often translated by Captain Crook. I guess Captain Crook is the pirate you were talking about. That's right. Wow. Do you think that's a common response to uh, molestation, is to drive your brain into uh, like being a simpleton so you can sort of forget? Are you accusing me of being molested? No, I think Grimace maybe was could have been a genius, and then he... He got raped? He got raped in prison, and then he decided to by live out, by live out great, the rest of his days as a simpleton. By his great-grandma Mimi or whatever the fuck? King Konga. No, that's his brother, you idiot. Oh, sorry. He's got a grandmother and a great-grandmother. Damn. And that's we, a that's a full family tree. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Fry Kids. That's right. Mayor McCheese. Oh, yeah, Mayor, Mayor McCheese. Mayor McCheese was an enormous cheeseburger who appeared from 1971 to 2008. They got He's, rid of Mayor McCheese? He has a burger for a head and, a, and sports a top hat, mm -hmm. a I love diplomat Mayor sash, and a pair of pinche nez spectacles. Mm -hmm. 2008, it was Obama's first thing uh, in office. Yeah, that, yeah. Uh, he that proclaimed that Mayor McCheese. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Grimace won the election. Yeah. And then they found out that Grimace was actually born in Grimace, Kenya. <laughs> 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 Yeah, God where's your damn. Berg certificate? That was like a 70s thing, right? Like all companies had like cartoon gangs and like TV shows and stuff. Officer Big Mac, I guess they had a cop. Mm, I don't remember him. He was similar to Mayor McCheese and then he had a large Big Mac for a head, except <laughs> he was the chief of police and as such he wore a constable uniform with a disproportionately small custodian helmet resting atop of his head bun. I like that move, look. Big head, small hat. Did they also have like the... Uh... The ma the burger master general, you know, and it's like the post master general. Yeah, that's cool. Every <laughs> they have the burger comptroller. 
The Bergdelerman. What the fuck is an alderman? I have no idea. I just remember in that uh, Chris Rock Chris movie? Rock movie, he was an He's alderman, right, yeah. head yep. of state. Yep. Yeah, great flick. I the loved Chris Rock's movie, bearded, even though they were bad. A Me bearded too. scientist type character. There was a scientist. I told you, I saw a guy getting literally head. blown during head, head of, of state. state. Yeah, yeah. which in rocks. the theater. Yeah. Have you guys ever gotten pun head? Pun <laughs> maybe at head of state or yeah. something called. Yeah, I, I put on maybe Thunderdome sp- every night. Maybe you're spinning a top while you're getting top. Yeah. You know? Maybe you're wearing a top hat. Yeah. Or maybe you're just wearing a hat. Because that's another way to say getting head is saying getting mm-hmm. some cap. Although now n- capping is bragging. Language evolves so beautifully. Don't you agree, Nick? Yeah, sorry. I'm Now I'm reading about Uncle O'Grimacy. <laughs> <laughs> that's his sort so, of yeah. That's how you can go after the blacks and the Irish at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> He's kind of like the uh, Cedric the Entertainer. Yeah. Oh, Grimacy and... is the Irish uncle of the character Grimace. <laughs> what the fuck? He's a variant of the Grimace design that he is green instead of purple. Sports a frock coat covered with several four-leaf clovers <laughs> and carries a shillelagh. Wow. Oh, his wow. design motif is not unlike that of a stereotypical depiction of the Irish folkloric leprechaun. O'Grimacy resides in his home country for 11 months of the year and visits his nephew Grimace in March. Bringing oh, Shamrock in- Shakes! Incredibly delicious shake. Oh, <laughs> stop, you called that. You had that one. I had it on lock, brother. Yeah. The wow. Nugget O'Grimacy. buddies, a couple of chicken McNuggets that butt fuck each other. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a flute passed down from my great grandfather, <laughs> yeah. who was Irish. Oh, this is cool. <laughs> Cosmic. Oh, Temporary shit. character from McDonald Land, Cosmic was an alien who wore a large space suit and he talked like a surfer dude. Hell yeah. Was McDonald Land a place? Did they have a theme park? No, it's where they live. Oh. Trash cans. Talking twin trash cans. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, you have to deposit garbage into them to feed them. Nice. What about your own shit? Yeah. <laughs> Does that count as garbage? Yeah. Yeah. It was one of the characters in McDonald's Land is the giant shit you take after eating McDonald's <laughs> while on the road. Yeah. I am hungry. A short lived McDonald's Land character who is self proclaimed vice president of snacking. Mm. I want that job. Ooh, the Griddler. Uh oh. Yeah, he uses slurs. <laughs> Mike the Microphone. He was a one-time character created for Kid Rhino albums. Ronald makes it magic, and Ronald McDonald presents Who silly singing. Who the fuck is Kid Rhino? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Early hip hop. Mm-hmm. Kid Rhino. When you click on it, it just goes to Rhino Entertainment Company. Interesting. What's that? It's a. It was a, a novelty uh, music label. Mm. Oh, yeah, Rhino. Yeah. Yeah. What else did they do? They did, like, compilation albums. That you know, they, Simon... They sell on TV. You know, Simon Cowell did, uh, like, Macho Man's album? The, oh, Macho Man Randy Savage? Mm-hmm. Not and the, maybe even yeah. Rapping Rodney. Oh, he used to do, like, He was in the business, yeah, he was in the... Rap yep. albums? Mm-hmm. Fuck him, dude. Fuck Simon Cowell? Yeah, he's like, you know, what's he making people feel bad about how how good they sing? Well, they his stink. background is fucking Rodney Dangerfield. <laughs> yeah, no, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I think he's a fucking savant. His grimace with his big fat ass meeting his stupid Irish uncle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, grimacy! Damn, Uncle Oh Grimacy. <clears throat> Folks, yes, this uh, this episode might not be as good because Adam took my spot on the couch. I don't and have so to sit on the floor every he's thrown time. Off, he's thrown off the equilibrium. You don't I'm have to give me the down. fucking trundle bed in the hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> I was injured, man. I couldn't, I I couldn't know. take the trundle bed. It was bad for my circulation. And Nick I, already I detailed could've... how it was a PR nightmare if anyone found out. Yeah, Nick. He, he, he didn't want it. <laughs> it would look bad if you took the the, sh- the bed of nails that I had to sleep on in Cleveland. It looked nice, honestly. It was not nice. It looked really plush. And I comfy. got so stoned that first night off those edibles, and I was just laying yeah, there, that was not fun. able to go to sleep because I was prohibitively high. What? That's the best time to go to sleep. Uh, sometimes I get too high and can't go to sleep. <laughs> um, 
So uh, uh, did you guys see that fucking the Saudis chopped up some Turkish guy? The nice. journalist? Yeah. Yeah. They 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 got him in America. In like the fucking consulate. They fucked his ass up in the Saudi consulate. Trump Trump uh And they sawed his ass up and just took him out. They had a bone saw, dismembered this motherfucker and just like carried Wait, his in the US embassy? I think I, th- I don't in know. In the Saudi consulate? The Saudi consulate. The Saudi consulate here? I think so. In D C? I think so. I don't Dude, know. that's badass. That's awesome. Remember when that... It is pretty big dick if they did it, but was it's it, also scary. Was it like Erdogan's guys that beat the shit out of people like in front of that? Yeah, I yeah. remember that. Yeah, Last it was year. was a big street brawl. Yeah, that was awesome. Really? What'd yeah. they do? Yeah, it was a bunch of guys in suits just beating the fuck out of protesters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were like protesting outside and the church. Yeah, there's people <laughs> like, this is America. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> Damn. And they're just getting away with murdering some journalist who wanted to like... Do a pro democracy some shit or something? Yeah, that's that's how it should be reported. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do away with some journalists is trying to do a pro democracy some shit or something. <laughs> that's basically it, man. <laughs> what we don't you, need all these fucking words muddying up what happened. What did you right. say about uh, <laughs> Jerry Man house style? <laughs> Just little districts, little fucked, fucked up, up little districts, districts. <laughs> which is what it is, man. They fuck up the little districts so you can fucking vote Republican or whatever. Well, it's fuck. not little. Sometimes they make them really big. I mean, They're weird sound, and long. That does sound smarter than gerrymandering. Yeah, yeah. gerrymandering is a retarded word. It sounds mm-hmm. like Australians named that. Mm-hmm. Oh, it definitely does. Speaking of which, it's too late to do it, but we wanted to sell shirts. It's got a little kangaroo, and he's got his hip. You know, pushed yeah. out to the side, and it says, uh, "Guy, mate, guy, mate, guy, mate." Actually, if you're if you're an Australian cum boy and you have a screen printing operation, if you want to make those shirts, bring them to the show. Yeah, we'll pay you. We'll bulk, pay you, and then we'll sell them for oh, a bigger will we? price. Nick will pay you. No, oh, oh, you you already figured out uh, sales tax in another fucking country Shh, and having a. Oh we won't God. do it. Sign, wink, wink. You signed us up for that already, Adam. Listen, and then we, I'll take care of it, huh? <sighs> we won't do that. Don't make those shirts. Don't make the shirts. Sorry, because it was a friendly, we, friendly if, suggestion. Because if you did make them, we'd have to pay taxes. But if you don't make them, Thank you, we'll Stav. never have to pay taxes. Is so really you do good. all the work, and then we'll sell them <laughs> yeah. for money for us. But no, no, no. Don't do that. Yeah. Do not no, do that. We'll get paid in, in uh, tickets that we sell. Mm-hmm. We sell a little, or a little uh, like fake... Doubloons. What if something. we charge for our time? Yeah, yeah. Have to pay taxes for that. Sure. Damn. We Actually, do not have to pay tax. What if oh, we? Yeah, made I guess there is sales tax, but what we if do we have, have like a, a a visa, right? What we if we? Have like I a don't work know. Visa. I hope yeah, we, we do. Have a visa. I think you'd, you'd like the visa has to tell, say specifically what you're allowed to do. Oh, uh, we're allowed to perform. Can you suck dick? Yeah, for money. Yeah. That's not how it feels. Imagine right. getting kicked out of Australia for making money. You they go over there with like, a long thing type for of visa. Then, like, <laughs> 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 yeah. I love it, dude. I so I've looked into the man was, who blew too much. The man who blew mm-hmm. too much was kicked out of every country for sucking dick. <laughs> I've sucked dick in every single country. I sucked dick in North Korea. Can your dick get too sucked? Philosophical quandary, my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Does there exist a dick that can be too sucked? I guess if you came a bunch just like a minute ago, you know, it's hard to get a boner again Mm -hmm. unless you're a strong young man Mm -hmm. like me. No. I can get three, four, five boners in a row. Really? No. (laughs) How much How much? I remember when I was younger, I could... I could get hard again right afterwards. Those were the days. Those were the days. I'm still able to do that. I thought you said I thought you can't get hard at all. initially, but then once I'm going, I'm going. Once it gets going. And then it's mm. like stuck that way. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a fucked like a up lawnmower. Wheel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got a flywheel dick. I'm to the point now, I've been having a, I had a, well, I've been eating healthier because I, I know I'm about to while out in Japan and Australia. Yeah. And I was shocked that my dick was working again. Like, it was one of those things where it was like. Oh, it's pretty simple. Yeah. It was like, it was just. No issue. I yeah. fucked good. You're castrating yourself and making yourself more I'm dying. fat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and killing yourself. Literally, and if I lost thirty myself. pounds, all my problems. Like I don't even have to be not fat. Your tooth would grow back. <laughs> yeah, I just have to not be this fat. You wouldn't need glasses anymore. Yeah, yeah. But it felt good, dude. <clears throat> it felt good to fuck without dick pills, dude. With a hard ass dick. Mm-hmm. I was restored. So I guess tech stocks are all fucked up today. Why? I don't know. 
That's the beauty of the markets, baby. <laughs> Fuck markets, dude. Fuck investing. Mm-hmm. I'm against that shit. I agree. I'm gonna buy every house in Greektown. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna just... become. I'm gonna become the mayor of. That's Greektown. investing, though. No, but that's hard in, assets. That's investing. I understand. Hard I'm, assets. I'm gonna become a feudal lord of yeah. Greektown, mm-hmm. and everyone must kiss my ring and and pay me tribute. Sort of like the guy with the cape in Godfather Two. Exactly. The Italian yes. boss. What the guy. fuck's his name? That, uh, Don Fanucci. Don Fanucci. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to be Don Fanucci. I'm going to dress the exact same way. The white I'm going to walk suit. around. White yeah. suit. All white suit. I'm going to walk around Greek town. And I'm going to get fucking uh, gyros and fucking tubs of tzatziki mm-hmm. and feta. You'll make diner guys kiss your ring. I'll make. Yep. I'll fuck their daughters. That'll be how they pay of me course. also. Um, yeah, I'm reinstating. I'm reinstating uh, Prima Nocta. Mm-hmm. I'm reinstating that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to buy all of Oldham Street. Mm-hmm. All of fucking Eastern Avenue is going to be mine, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a cool move. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Buying up the entire yeah. neighborhood. Just a block is going to be mine, dude. <laughs> I'm going to get back into cars. Why don't more millionaires do that shit? I don't know. Especially in, like, Baltimore. They do. do that they? guy, Dan, uh, the guy from You're the right. Cavs, yeah, he yeah. owns, like, Detroit Dan Gilbert now. owns, Dan, like, blocks and blocks of Detroit. Yeah. I mean, in Baltimore, you should just do that. Yeah. If you were like a millionaire, it was just like it's a, like a million dollars doesn't mean shit to you. Just buy like hella blocks, mm-hmm. especially the ones right by Hopkins, because those exist where it's like you yeah. just kind of push out the Hopkins fear a little bit. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm invest now as a homeowner. I want Baltimore to bounce back. Mm-hmm. But there's Listen, no return on investment in owning a whole block. Maybe there is. Is there? I mean, that. it's not. It's not going to be. You're mm-hmm. not going to have like Baltimore's on the way back. What if I bought a block? Had my own private police force, mm-hmm. guaranteed your safety. That'd be cool. Then I really am a feudal lord, dude. Yeah, that would rock. There's uh, there's places in Detroit where they don't have police anymore. That's insane. Or the police just don't show up. Yeah. Well, uh, sorry, I'm two minutes off the mark here, but mm. uh, stock market's fucked up, guys. So you're if you want to sound Make investment money? advice, you got to gamble all <laughs> of your right. money on, on yeah. sports. On sports, mm-hmm. it's the only it's the only guaranteed safe bet in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and you can go check them out at 100% guaranteed safe bet dot com, which in a week's time should redirect to bet the assignment. <laughs> <Yeah, you're laughs> beat me off, guys! <laughs> and now 100% Did safe. Did someone do it? Actually, oh, yeah. 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 Immediately. Yeah, yeah, immediately. Salute, salute actually, to our Actually, you know what? I'm sorry. Fans. That guy DM me, and I didn't get back to him. There's no way to lose money dot com. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I do want an email that's stop at beatmeoffguys.com. So mm-hmm. if you can make that happen, mm-hmm. whoever bought it, please holler at us. We want stop Nick, and Adam at beatmeoffguys.com. Please, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah betdsi.com is a premier website that does sports shit <laughs> and bet on fucking games and stuff. <laughs> If you like that kind of stuff, you can check mm-hmm. them out. Uh, I don't know. I guess they're like cool or something. Twi- yep, they're. I guess cool. they're like yeah. They're cool. They smoke cigs. They blast. They cigs. go to bed after. They 11. finger girls. Yeah, I guess yeah. it's it's supposed to be like a pretty good website or mm-hmm. something like that. It's. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I heard something along those lines. But, yeah, uh, people are definitely saying that. They <laughs> play electric guitar. <laughs> Everybody you fucking I mean, talk I can't to. speak to it personally. No, no we can't. <laughs> <laughs> but also other people are saying it mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Which means it's really fucking good. Yeah. You know, I mean, I wouldn't even come on this show with my own opinions. I mean, mm-hmm. that would be fucked up. No, this it's is It's irresponsible Nick's to, like, you can't have your this own... This is mine, Adam, and Nick's opinion that it is a good website. No, nah, I mean, some guy... And a we Christian, use it and it's A good. Christian I know, this guy who's Christian. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's never lied, ever. He told me... <laughs> he told me that Bet DSI is, like, where he goes to bet on shit all the time. Mm-hmm. And this wow. guy's in church every single every, day. Every day. Every Not day, just dude. Sunday. He just loves praying. He's a Tuesday looking. mass. He does that thing with the hand, his hand yeah. all the time. The cross? The yeah. The sign of the cross? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like never even. I tried to like tell. I was like, I was like, yeah, I was fucking this girl with her pussy the other day. He's like, what are you talking? He's like, about? whoa. He was like, what are you talking about? And I was oh, like, he doesn't you know, even I was know what the sex. Word. And he's like, but what, what's a pussy? Yeah, he doesn't know like, what the word. Never heard of it. Yeah, I was like, there's a hole in a woman, and he's like, that man, that's wild. Yeah, I gotta pray uh-huh. about that. And mm-hmm. then he left. He just went mm-hmm. to go to church. He started crying. I go into church and I see him, and he's got the Bible open, and then in the in the side of the Bible it's his phone, and he said. 100% safe guaranteed bet.com. <laughs> AKA wow. bet the SI. Which redirects the bet the SI. <laughs> <laughs> no way you can lose.com. <laughs> mm-hmm. Slash bet the SI. 
And, uh, you know, in-game wagering. In-game, uh, live in-game wagering. They yeah. got an award-winning mobile app, dude. I award. think, I'm pretty sure I can't, you, you don't hold me to it, but I think they won an Academy Award last year <laughs> yep. for That's their mobile right. app. Mobile app. And a Tony. And, yeah, they mm-hmm. wanted, They for, did the for, Enzo, if you, if where, you, where you were an Emmy, uh, <laughs> a Zion Award for <laughs> Best Israeli yeah, app. Yeah, from... Uh, a, a contribution to the tech industry. Benjamin Netanyahu. An Oscar, yeah. and then the ends. You, know, you don't want to know what that yeah, one stands for. Y'all don't want to know what that is. Award. Yeah. Yeah, a really racist guy named the, <laughs> named the fucking... Uh, yeah. uh, what's yeah. she called? Not, algor- not algorithm. No, it's just called an any. Yeah. No, no. What the fuck? What's the continue stuff? About What's the algorithm, and it's where you and your friend figure out the best way to have sex and suck sex. each other's dicks. Sex, yeah. Mm-hmm. What is the word I'm thinking of? Hogistics. Hogistics is good. <laughs> it's like like laser is one of these, where it's multiple word a- anagram, not an anagram. Oh, uh, palindrome. No, no man. Laser razel. And not a, no, everything stands for not something. Not an acronym. Acronym. An oh, acronym. an initialism. A very racist guy created the Enzo. An acronym is like an FBI. Yeah. Yeah, it's an Enzo is an FBI is an acronym. Yeah. Anyway, betthesi.com, folks. Mm-hmm. Really bet there. Put it, use promo code come one twenty. Uh, twenty four hours, seven mm-hmm. motherfucking support. award winning customer award support. winning customer service from Good Housekeeping Magazine. That's High right. Times. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, you bet, what is it, you put in the, oh, the yeah. match it or some shit? Listen, folks, I know you're thinking that we're just like, you know, goofing. just goofing around here, but this is fucking serious. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> you is. have to go to Bet the SI and sign up. <laughs> Look, it, it won't cost you, it, it, at the minimum, it'll cost you two, three hundred dollars. <laughs> That's it, though. That's it. What are you being an asshole about? Don't be a fucking asshole. Don't be a fucking dude. asshole. If you want this show to continue, brought <laughs> you to you by to. by sponsors like and Corp- Corporation for Public Broadcasting and people mm-hmm. like you. Yeah, you need to go to Bet DSI, deposit every fucking penny you have, take it out of the stock market, take it out of your four hundred one k. We're headed mm-hmm. for a drastic recession. Mm-hmm. I'm I've been warned by the SEC not yeah. to tell my crypto picks anymore. <laughs> after that man killed himself. <laughs> No, I am not allowed to do crypto picks anymore, but I will tell you. That's right. Bet everything you own on betdsi.com. <laughs> yes. On the future mm-hmm. of the company. On the Ravens. On bet the, on the Ravens. Bet every dollar Every you time. Have on now, the Ravens. Did we lose to the Browns? Sure. But the week before that, we won. So I'm going to tell you something. Empty your life savings. <laughs> Take a life insurance policy out on your wife. Kill your wife. Yeah. And then You'll use get a the good money. Cool quarter mil. Take out that, of that quarter million. Yeah. Bet on the Ravens. You, money line. You put you put the Ravens for the Super mm-hmm. Bowl beating the Dallas <laughs> Cowboys a hundred to zero. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now, I know you think that sounds crazy. You will get crazy odds on that, bet. <laughs> yeah. You will get very yeah. good you odds are on right. that. You will. right. I've done the math on this. You will get $60 billion, <laughs> which will put you ahead of Carlos Slim, the world's <laughs> richest Mexican. Yep. And guess what? Carlos Slim, he's named after his own dick. Yeah. And you'll have a bigger dick than him, too, because he's got yep. a slim dick. Yeah. So come one twenty promo code come one twenty bet the come one twenty you get you put your deposit down you get a hundred and twenty percent bonus mm-hmm. you know what that means even more money even more money than you the first stupid fucking yeah asshole. do the math yourself mm-hmm. faggot <laughs> bet dot com <laughs> faggot <laughs> damn I love damn. gambling man yeah I love gambling and I love. Telling people about my favorite website, mm-hmm. betdsi.com. Mm-hmm. This is the read that never ends. <laughs> this is Dude, the let's read just keep that going. Yeah. Let's ends. just keep going for like 40 minutes. <laughs> let's, get, let's do the next read within this. Whoever's read. responsible for listening to these ads at BetDSI is like, I mean, they certainly gave us the time. <laughs> they, I, I don't know what. I don't know what Grover's fur being held on with cum has to do with <laughs> their website. <laughs> Grover actually being completely hairless. <laughs> but he's covered in blue pubes. <laughs> it's all actually Cookie Monster's cum holding his... <laughs> how that really relates to sports batting. But Are Grover and Cookie Monster related? They're both blue. Yeah, well, Cookie Monster is Grover's retarded brother. Ah. Oh, I'm afraid my brother with Down syndrome is... I don't remember what <laughs> Grover sounds like. That's pretty good, I think. 
Yeah. C is for chromosome. That's too many for me. <laughs> well, geez, chromosome monster. <laughs> what <are you> doing? <laughs> Originally, he was the chromosome monster. And they're like, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know about they're this. Like, what? One. You got an autistic character. There's a gay couple. There's a sexless gay couple. Mm-hmm. You got plenty of blacks on the show. Why can't we go Down syndrome? Mm-hmm. So true. Why isn't there a Down syndrome Muppet? Mm-hmm. Chromosome monster. Yeah. He snacks on the extra chromosomes and cures or, the retarded Or kids. there's a Down Syndrome monster who is a villain, mm-hmm. and he's the enemy of Cookie Monster. Because mm. he's always trying to get those cookies. Oh, because he also wants them? He also wants them. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing, man. If you want real representation, it's not just the hero roles. You know, you so can't true. just have Black Panther. It's like, where are the movies where black people are just are villains serial pedophiles? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know, mm-hmm. Raping white children across the land. Yeah. That's You're right. We need that. <laughs> <laughs> Here it comes down. We've pledged our own dollars <laughs> to fund any movie about a black no, pedophile. Because, look, I'll tell you, I know what black people want. They want to feel like human. Mm-hmm. So, so you got to take the good with the bad. Because in and all of us, there is a panther and a pedophile. <laughs> That's right. The, the yin and yang. Yeah. That's what the original yin and yang is about. About. Yeah, one is a panther and one is a guy that sucks off little kids' very small penises mm-hmm. and somehow gets sexual gratification out of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking weird. Dude. I know it is. <laughs> it's weird. That's the other thing about like sucking pedophilia. Sucking little kids' is dick and getting hard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like it's ridiculous. <laughs> it is. It truly is ridiculous. <laughs> So oh, yeah, we were silly. saying on stage oh, that's yeah. how Weird Al got his name. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> he it's kid. weird. <laughs> that guy's <is> weird. <laughs> about yeah. Queered Al. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Queered? Yeah. Cause I'm queered. Because I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm, <laughs> I'm really, 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 really gay. Boom. <laughs> 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 Yo, dick is hard. Mm. Your ass My is mine is already pretty gay. My ass is fat. What is it? Your butt is mine, isn't that? Yeah, yeah. he says. Yeah. Which is pretty gay. Do you see Prince being like, Prince refused to be in that video because of that lyric? Bad? Yeah, did you see that interview? No. Prince, and he was like, he was like, they whose butt is yours? Video? Yeah, he was supposed to be Wesley Snipes. Oh, wow. And Prince, he does a video and he's like, Excuse, your, my butt is yours? I don't think... Literally, Prince is like, I'm not with that gay He's shit. He's a Jehovah's <laughs> Witness. I know. <laughs> He's a religious man. Respect to Prince for being gay but the not king. gay. The gayest, straightest man of all time. The he, got, he got too much pussy. That, he went pussy blind. He That's why he, he tried to use all those pills. He Shout just out to Prince, too, for being 4'11", our all shared height that we all That's are. That's right. We're yep. all the same height as Prince. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Especially we saw Adam. Him. Adam is the Adam most Adam is extremely the same height as us. <laughs> I'm comfortable. <laughs> I'm comfortable with you saying Your that. butt is mine. Um, yeah, when we saw Paul Simon a couple weeks ago, had to be 5'1". How about Paul Wall Simon? That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't know what height Paul Simon was. We were... 500 feet away. You saw him on a monitor. I bet you he's 5'6". Look it up. You only saw his... I mean, I'm sure he is. I bet you on celebrity heights... I'm sure he is, but... I bet you celebrity heights 5'4", which is inflated. Yeah. They're always Look, I'm sure he is that height, but don't pretend like... You could Dude, gauge. he was on stage with like 20 people. You were looking at a monitor. He was tiny. You only saw his face. 5'3". Five, 5'3". Three. Five, yeah. three. Listed. Listed. So he's got to be 5'2". Five, five, Billy four. Joel's 5'5". Five, five, I'm eight. just saying you're bad at estimating distances and measurements. Art Garfunkel's it sounds like I'm perfect. Five, five, no, this is something you already looked up and then you pretended this was a... So you're good at space. Willie Nelson is 5'6". I looked it up. Bob Dylan, 5'7". Perhaps, because he looked 5'1 on stage. Right, hold on. Willie Nelson... He's 5'6", I just told you, bitch. No, no. What's his name sound like? Um. Oh, um, hmm. Uh. Emmett Tilly Nelson? No, God, no, we're not that doing that good. one. I love that. <laughs> that's rough, dude. <laughs> but I want to do that one. No, we're doing this next one, uh-huh. dude. <laughs> so that do you guys want to go to Fright Fest at Six Flags? We have literally 24 hours to do that before we leave the country. Oh, yeah. I got a package shit, dude. I haven't done Damn. shit, man. Stop. You want to go to Macy's with me after this and get nice duffel bags? I have a duffel bag. Do you want to go to Macy's with me and uh, look at bedding and laugh at the gay guys? <laughs> <laughs> the gay guys who work in the bedding section? Are we only doing Just, one? Now? Usually I would like to. That's what happens. If you become a sexless gay man, you get into textures. Mm-hmm. Feeling. Like yeah. feeling things. Ooh. 
Yeah. Yeah. Soft. Smooth. I feel like every gay guy fucks, though. Or is no. that my prejudice? Not all of them. No. Not that concierge at the Radisson in the Inner Harbor. Oh, yeah. You you experienced him. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. know him. That oh, yeah, that's thing. right. It is funny to see an old, a, a small-town gay guy. Yeah. Boom. I'm yeah. sure he has some They're sense. always, Hurricane they're always working at Starbucks and, like, look so desperate to get out. Yeah. So I guess Florida is getting owned, huh, by these storms? Yeah. Mike. Good. That's what they get for George Zimmerman. Uh-huh. I hope all those people <laughs> die. Well, they also to make me feel Trayvon better. Trayvon is also to make me feel better about Florida, my politics. <laughs> That's what they all the deserve. Guys, all the people that those people hurt oh, are yeah. also in that state. All those black people <laughs> deserve to die because of George Zimmerman mm-hmm. getting off. So take that, dick. Florida. So uh, coin dick. market cap. Take a look at. I at the crypto gay. markets. So I, I've, I'm, I've been, like, really working my way into this fin goth thing. I think that's, like, the new thing I am. Financial yeah. goth? Financial yeah. goth. I'm a financial goth. Hmm. It's like, yeah, I just have fucking investments. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about a rich gay I'm fucking, guy. I just, I'm, I want to die. A rich die. gay guy that wears black I want to die, and I'm worried about my portfolio. <laughs> 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 I just cut myself and diversify my portfolio. <laughs> Yeah, I, I cut a line down my fucking arm that mimics the NASDAQ's EMA 200, you know? Mm-hmm. I just uh, love... Eat mucho ass. Do you, have, do you have blue chip investments or just crypto? I don't have any investments. Oh, yeah, he has none. Do Sorry. not ever discuss my actual financial... <laughs> <laughs> do not let these people know... That I am worth over seven million dollars now. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true because this podcast would not be happening. Oh yeah, <laughs> if you had seven yeah. million dollars, I would be so gone. <laughs> Is there Adam and, J- and I would replace myself with somebody that I knew would fuck it up. No, so I, we would not would. continue doing the show. We would not. There would no- why you guys would still need money. Whatever, we'd figure money. You out. You couldn't even be friends anymore because I would be so. You'd be wealthy in your bunker. That- well, I wouldn't be in my bunker. I would just be hanging out with other rich people. Mm-hmm. Oh, who's your other, rich other, other, other high net worth individuals? Like who? I don't know. Those people come out of the woodwork once you become rich. Mm-hmm. No, dude. They want to hang out with you. Those people are just hangers on. No, not, not like not, me I mean, other stuff. people that are worth 10, 15, 18 billion dollars. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> is, there, is there one guy in Nigeria where that scam thing worked and he has like I'm sure. $100 million? Well, according to a Lyft driver I had, that happens a lot. Yeah. Nigeria. Yep. Nigeria. Mm hmm. And they have diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Song, 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 my dick. Song, 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 song my dick. My ding. <coughs> Ooh, yeah. Would you suck on my nuts? What were we doing with Susudio? Fuck my ass. There's one for Susudio. Oh, Susudio, it's the studio apartment where you suck guys off. Welcome to my Susudio. That's what it was. No furniture. Yeah. Just one, there's some knee, like a pillow for your knees on the floor. Oh, this is something we should bring up. We were, me and Stav were, this is a great story for the podcast. Me and Stav were talking to some girl the other day, and we kept saying as a joke, uh, let me see your pussy. Yeah. <laughs> we were laughing pretty hard at that. Oh, joking yeah. Joking that she would, like, but you're not in a sexual way. You're like, do you mind if I take a can look I at your, see your pussy? Can we see your pussy real quick? And we kept saying it to her, and. She laughed the first couple of times and then stopped and then we were laughing. And then we even kept harder. doing it, maybe kept, six or seven. Because times. it was funnier every time, especially yep. when she wasn't laughing. <laughs> yeah. Well, she told a story about some guy being like, "Can I see your hands?" She's like training to box, and she held her hands out, and then he just held her hand, and it was like, "That's cute." Mm. And that was his move to try and fuck, and then we thought naturally, "Can I see your pussy?" Can I see your pussy? Yeah. Can we see your pussy real quick? Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Look how well my dick fits into your pussy. <laughs> it also sounds like you're just trying to borrow it. Yo, let me see that. Let pussy. me hold. Can I hold your pussy? Let for me hold a second? that. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. I borrow your pussy? <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. Other current events going. Oh, do you guys hear about that fucking guy who loves? If th- this is a cause we have to get behind. What? For real. There's a guy who loves trains. 
he's autistic or some shit, mm -hmm. and he got in trouble. He keeps getting in trouble for stealing the train. Oh, we've definitely talked about that on the show. Before. Have we? Or you know what it is? Is I've heard about that guy so many fucking times, and people keep emailing me the story. Yeah, that we don't talk that about I don't it. talk about it because yeah. I I feel like I must have or. But I saw it because I think Will shared the link. Like yeah. now he's like. He's about to go to... He's got a big trial coming up, and mm -hmm. if they find him dangerous, the poor guy's got to go to fucking jail for, like, his whole life. Or if they say he's, like, you know, got mental problems, then he gets to, like, He's just work got on black that. autism. I know, but, but that's it's what I'm saying guy? is... Well, it's... Guy, look, yeah. autism, Ooh. trains, obviously, the yeah. uniforms, like, uh, an obsession. Black mm -hmm. part, crime. <laughs> and you combine the no. two. <laughs> he, this man is a victim. <laughs> he should be working for the MTA. He's a trained savant. But because I mean, of that's true. It's like if you're so good how at how hard hacking, is it to be good at they they're on a fucking track. <laughs> <laughs> the man like, where is he gonna take it? Oh, but he fucking was a little kid who learned how to do it. That's mm -hmm. pretty impressive. What was the um Leslie Nielsen movie where Wrongfully Accused. That's wrongfully accused. Yeah. Well here's the thing. I don't, oh, I don't man, know that guy's watch, name, but instead of packing, let's watch the airplane movies after this. Let's watch airplane. I'll make a I'll make an apple crumble pie. I don't want pie. Keep Are we going to do two? Dude, I can't wait to buy a let's house do, and just be domestic and, and shit. Episode. I have to go see you. I'm going to be my own housewife. What? I'm going to be my own housewife. I'm going to buy a house and just make myself pies I bet your shit. pies suck dick, bro. Probably. Uh -huh. It'll take a long time to get good yeah. at them. You gotta got to put them on the windowsill. I'm bro. actually... I, like, I would post pictures on Instagram of like food that I had made because it looked bad, but... like. I have tried so hard to make food that's good. Like, it was like a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's yeah, also yeah, yeah. half the time, like, I, this started off with no, me I know. attempting something for real. I know, because I could see the pride in your eyes when it turned out good. Yeah. You know? It's yeah. so fucking hard to cook. I don't understand it. It's not that hard, bro. I have no idea how it works. You just got to have a, a natural flair. See, I'm good at cooking because I love food It's like, so you know much. where you have to, like, develop film mm -hmm. in the dark? That's how, like, cooking works for me. Because mm -hmm. you can't taste it throughout. I have no idea what's going on. You're yeah, supposed to taste it throughout. That's you like no, that's... you can't taste raw chicken. He's right. No, no, no. But you're supposed to taste the food before. Baking is hard. Cooking's easy. Baking's like science. Baking's easy. You just follow the rules. No, you fuck follow that. the instructions. No, it can go wrong. I've followed so many fucking recipes. When it's done, it's like this is barely edible. Recipes. Yeah. And I've, got, like, I've got an. I do. I follow it to a fucking T. Yeah. Recipes like cooking recipes is harder than baking. No, because baking is like just you just put it in the right amount of ingredients and no. So, uh, listen. You, I've watched the Great British Bake Off. Okay, shit can go wrong. Pal. Yeah, but those people are really going off. I mean, they're. How like, about the Great Bitch doing... Tits Bake Off? <laughs> the Great and what? It's, it's great Bitch Tits Bake Off, and it's only men with breasts. Oh yeah, those, those guys would honestly just, make really. They're good just topless, cook, like, and they go. They have their arms bare on their back, and they go, "Yes, chef!" And their tits <laughs> shake <laughs> when they do it. Jiggle. Yes, chef. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is fringe pan stuff? Who knows? But they I'll always tell you talk what. about that in Bake Off. I tell you what. Underpants? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. Take it away, Gold. Goldie. Me? Gold, yeah, what's, what's, a good, what's a good, like, I like friendly, Goldie. endearing nickname for your Anti Jewish? Anti-Semitic? Yes, yeah. at the same time. Ugh. All right, Corny? here's, here's uh, the return of Adam Steele Corner. Mm. You ready? Yeah. Adam Steele Corner. Carefully carved out of British Mandate of Palestine <laughs> in 1947. <laughs> the deal corner is the forefront of horrific atrocities in first, the world. First of all, before... The secret intelligence organization that's allowed to carry out assassinations without the international community batting an eye. Adam's deal corner... First of all, I dedicated just want to say the, the lowering man, prices around the globe. The mandate for Palestine. What if, you know, everybody hates Israel, do, but what, what if yeah. Israel is the only thing preventing globalist capitalism from taking over the world because Israel keeps prices down? They love down. deals. They love deals they so love much. Deal that, yeah, it's Isra the balance between Israel's love of getting a deal and discounts mm -hmm. prevents capitalism from just making all the money go up to the well, top. Did you it's see not taxation, it's the Mossad. Did then you see that to them. Trump? Trump was keep, uh, keep capping those children. working with an Israeli security yeah. firm during the election Hell yeah. to like uh, 
it, basically, everyone's been waiting for Russia, and the second Israel's implicated now, no one's saying anything. You know, I yeah. say, like how people yeah. say, like, uh, if you want to know who runs the world, see who you it's can't Mac criticize. It's Mack Weldon underpants. If you, if you want to know who runs the world, see who you can't criticize. But I posted some, like, pretty nasty comments about this three-year-old with Down syndrome on uh -huh. YouTube. <laughs> Everyone's, like, fucking mad at me. Damn. But it's him. that's who yeah. runs the world. Probably. That's who runs the yeah. world. Yeah, it's Girls. Cody. From yeah. Salt Lake City. <laughs> yep. And his mom is a school teacher. Mm -hmm. And I said, what, I'm supposed to be impressed that this kid knows half the alphabet? He's fucking retarded. That's a good point. A regular child knows the whole alphabet by the time he's half his age. So true. Mm -hmm. Anyways. You know who, who is in support of Israel? Bad Baby. The rapper. The oh, 15-year-old with big outside. titties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She came out as staunchly pro-Israel <laughs> on she's, Instagram. She's fucking the best, like The best Zionist celebrity is John Voigt. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. they got him off of drugs. The, Israel did? No, the Chabad, the Orthodox Jewish organization, got him off of drugs. The Chabad? And they, it made him really right-wing. That sounds right like wing. a good sandwich. Chabad is like those dudes in Crown Heights. It's the, it's the Blues Brothers guys. The guys that dress with the, How with about the fedora hats. How about a movie Chabad a Boy, and it's about a boy, but it's uh, Hasidic guys mm -hmm. like, trying to cut off the tip of his Circumcising him and sucking his dick. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen about a boy, so I don't know what it's I don't about. Know what it is. I'm assuming it's about it, yeah. a boy, but how about a boy? Is the boy cute? The boy Dude, is very cute him? and precocious, and uh, and then the, you got Hugh Hugh. What's his name? Jackman. No, no. What do Jackman. you go up to? Who's that British guy? That's you like go up to Grant. Habad Hugh guys, Grant, yeah. and you go. How about you suck my dick? <laughs> <laughs> How about guys? Hey, buddy. How about you suck my dick? How about you suck my dick? They're the. <laughs> how bad do you want to suck my dick? <laughs> They're the um, the are you Jewish? Really guys. bad, mm. probably. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so but if you want to get your dick sucked by a Hasidic guy, you got to pull your underwear down. Mm -hmm, yep. And the best kind of underwear to pull down to reveal your 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 Mac ready to be Weldon. sucked chubby <laughs> Mac Weldon underwear. <laughs> MacWeldon.com. Simple shopping, premium shopping, premium simple fabrics. designs. Simple designs for simple people. Mm -hmm. Are you simple? Are you stupid as fuck? Are you a dumb motherfucker? Are you a stupid bitch? Are you a stupid <laughs> fucking asshole? If yeah. so, go to MacWeldon.com <laughs> and check out their... E look, and I'm, even a fucking idiot like you can figure out the website because it's that easy. Look, dude, I spend so much time at my computer just fucking screaming obscenities at mm -hmm. online shopping mm -hmm. websites. Oh, yes. The other day I was at this website and it's like, before you can download the video, you need to like submit... 30,000 bitcoins through uh -huh. like this escrow service to make sure that you're not working for the fucking FBI. <laughs> and it's like, just let me... By the time the video downloads, I'm not even going to be hard anymore. This kid's probably going to be over 18. Absolutely. I got to think about that. It's like, it doesn't even work for me if he's not still... <laughs> it's not still a child. Sure, you want to see a newspaper next to you one know, of the and I'm like, I'm ass. like, you know, I was like, you know what? Fuck online shopping. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I found MacWeldon.com, <laughs> <laughs> a website for guys like me. <laughs> for idiots that want to download something. Real dummies. <laughs> I figured out how to use websites on MacLun.com with their easy shopping oh, interface. Damn, if only all websites were this easy. <laughs> it's so much easier than the dark web. When I'm trying to buy an AK-47, I could just go to MacWeldon.com and load up on underwear. Beautiful. Anyways, uh, yeah, MacWeldon.com, they got a silver line of shirts and underwear that are naturally antimicrobial. That means that if you got a small dick and you mm -hmm. put them on, they'll burst into flames. Yes. <laughs> and it's silver. Bur bursting. It's silver, so it's made out of coins. Yeah, it's silver, so your skin turns blue. Mm -hmm. you know? Like a smurf. Green, kind yeah, of. Yeah, that shit's green. Cool. I'm trying to get blue. that. I want silver poisoning and just have blue skin. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, they got duffel, uh, the duffel bag, I think. They got crew necks. Mm, it's crew neck season, shit. dude. Fall coming up, you're wearing a hoodie, you're a fucking asshole. What are you, Mr. Robot? You go crew neck. Mm -hmm. Hoodies are for children. I think they sell hoodies, too. Okay, well, if they sell hoodies, I rescind that. <laughs> Check out their hoodies. It's the only company that sells yeah. hoodies that aren't for criminals or children. Mm -hmm. That's right. And in, in the sweatpants, too. They do. They got sweatpants. You Great know, track you, pants. You, are you a guy that likes to drive his girlfriend's car? Mm -hmm. His girlfriend's father's car, you know? Mm -hmm. You're really into Quickstar? Get some sweatpants. 
So true. You know, that's what I do. Mm-hmm. I used to. I used to be one of those guys. I miss being one of those guys. <laughs> what kind just of guy? A, just a scumbag. Yeah. Where your girlfriend pays for everything. Yeah, getting head in her father's car. Yeah, yeah getting head in her car <laughs> that you're driving drunk. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I used to be so much cooler. Yeah, really I, cooler. It's funny. It's like having money does cuck you no matter what. Because mm, there's no way to be a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. I guess you can. Uh, you can. You just That's why people fuck kids. You can be a yeah. total piece of shit. No, but the kind of piece of shit that takes things from people. Are you kidding me? That is that's, exactly that's, who rich no, people that's are. What, I'm, too, I'm too charitable for to be like that. <laughs> I've, my heart's too big. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what the doctor said. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you, you just got diagnosed with an enlarged heart. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, I'm charitable, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. The doctor's like, no, you, that's not what it means. In oh, fact, man. you're kind of a bad guy. <laughs> In fact, the stress yeah. of how bad you are is probably <laughs> enlarging your heart. Yeah. Anyways, go to MacWeldon.com. <laughs> And use promo code CUMTOWN, C-U-M-T-O-W-N, to get 20-something, 20, 25%, something like that <laughs> off your order. Yeah. I have completely forgotten. We've been doing these ads two years. <laughs> uh, but it's somewhere up there. And uh, It's a nice discount, you fucking dude, Yeah, it's a fucking decent. Because I'll so tell shut you, the fuck those up. underwear are fucking expensive. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to need that. Night. But here's Actually, the comparatively, they're not. If you go to, like, Macy's or whatever, you try to get, like, fancy underwear. It's true. For nice underwear, they're very nice. Yeah, yeah it's right. reasonably priced for nice underwear. For some and also, listen, you want to run and that try, scam? Hey, look, I wouldn't say that, you know, if it weren't true. That's right. Mm -hmm. Definitely wouldn't. We stand by every I have zero fucking claim. interest in actually being nice to these companies. Mm -hmm. I'm, not, I'm not putting my fucking word on the line. So true, brother. My goddamn word means oh, more gold. than anything. My fucking, look, at the end of the day, the only thing you have is your word. So true. And herpes. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also... And, and a promise that you do not have herpes. <laughs> but you do have... At the mm -hmm. end of the day, the only thing you have is that your word... That the you knowledge that you've lied about having herpes. <laughs> <laughs> never lied. Never once. <laughs> if you believe something. Yeah. <laughs> if you say you yeah. don't have herpes, uh, it's yeah. still your when word. When you said, do you have herpes, I thought you were asking me if I wanted to play the drinking game herpes. Yeah. So true. You have herpes. I didn't understand it was a literal question. I thought it was euphemism. <laughs> referring drinking to game. the classic drinking game, yeah. do you have herpes, which I have never played because I've only been drunk once and it lasted 25 years. <laughs> <laughs> that was one drunk. <laughs> that was one drinking I've done. And that was an entire session. So mm -hmm. to say that I, I am a drunk or somebody that drank a lot is incorrect. I'm somebody that drank one time. Mm -hmm. And yeah. what, did I ever black out? No. But do I remember anything? No, not at all. But I wouldn't say my memory is black. It's more <laughs> of like a white kind of hazy color. Yes. In Smoky. Which a lot of, yeah, more of a yellow submarine out. Mm -hmm. Smoked out, brother. I was also on ketamine at the time. Mm-hmm. Which was legal uh, in the 1980s. Yeah, when cocaine and which, ketamine were entirely completely, completely legal. legal for yeah. the 1980s, of which we were alive for two years. Yeah, an average of two years between the three of look, us. The way, mm -hmm. Look, uh, look, I don't want to uh, 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 yet actually you, but the way there's a little thing called ex post facto. Maybe mm -hmm. I can el elucidate. Elucidate, Elucidate, go off. You Elucidize you, me, dude. Ex post facto means that if you were alive when something wasn't illegal, you're allowed to do it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Interesting. Mm -hmm. so and if true. you were alive while something was illegal, for instance, you know, we Jews. Still, we can't do inter Nazi Germany. We can't do interracial <laughs> marriages in certain states. Yeah. Well, that I mean. The only reason I wouldn't interracial marry is, like, just to be safe. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it's fine. But it's like, why risk it? <laughs> yep, no, that's true. Anyways, promo code CUMTOWN. Yeah, and you can you return them if you don't yeah, like Yeah, if them. you don't like the fucking underwear, you can <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, about yeah, them. Yeah. Yeah. Mac Weldon. <laughs> oh, also, Bet DSI's got 24-7 coverage. <laughs> Award winning. I always forget that. Um, oh, man. Okay. I love pussy. No, you don't. Yeah, huh? In fact, I've heard the opposite. Who? Who Ever, said it? Uh, it's all over Twitter. What? It's trending. Oh, my God. Are you God. serious? Yeah, <laughs> stop. You didn't stop see that. Stop doesn't love pussy. It's <laughs> trending on Twitter. It's trending on Twitter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the New York Times is reporting about it right now. That's honestly so fucked up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to post a video of me eating pussy on Twitter. 
to revert those claims. I'm all about this limo driver. What limo driver? The guy that killed all those people. Oh, yeah, that sucks, man. Why are you about him? I don't know, man. That seems badass. No, it doesn't. How limo he driver, him? you've been down too long in the midnight <laughs> sea. Limo driver, <laughs> killing an entire wedding party. Yeah, dead limo Did he <clears throat> die, too? Or just every... Or Did he kill them, like, yeah. with a Well, the brakes went out on the fucking limousine. <laughs> oh. The company was owned by some uh, upstanding immigrant from <laughs> Pakistan. <laughs> mm-hmm. A guy who came here from Pakistan who... That's what I love is, like, you know, like, just, like, talking about, like, oh, guys are going to come here from Mexico and they're rapists and criminals. And for the most part, that's, like, statistically inaccurate. Mm-hmm. Right. But think about all the people that just suck at their job. Yeah. You know, that don't get the brakes changed on their fucking limo. To save probably like three dollars over the long haul. Right, yeah. Uh, they're yeah. <laughs> the more expensive than that, Adam. You side with the business mm. owner that didn't <laughs> that didn't I'm, change no, his I was brakes. gonna say there are plenty of Americans that don't like uh Doing, yeah, uh, no, this guy, the, life-saving. the guy that owned the company was, like, uh, indicted for fraud in uh-huh. 2001 when he first came here. And to let him stay in the country because he was Pakistani, he turned into, like, an informant in trapping other Pakistani people in, like, bullshit. I mean, Ugh. I didn't really look into it, but, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. you know, how the FBI just tricks retarded Muslim yeah, people yeah, into yeah. driving vans full of fake bombs. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, we got him. Just look at this elaborate plot he had. That, that we, we created. That we entirely came up with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're against, we're against the Patriot Act on this show. We're against it. I yeah. don't want the government listening to our podcast. Let me just podcast. say this. What kind of Patriot uh-huh. would mm-hmm. give up his essential freedoms? So yeah. true. Good point, dude. I would love to die in 9-11 <laughs> if it meant that I don't have to go through one of those body scanners anymore. Yeah, you know I don't want I mean? all those guys looking at my dick. I like showing up. At my t- dick yeah. isn't even hard. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to look at my dick through my pants with that body scanner. No, that's hard. not the Patriot Act. <laughs> what the Patriot Act is is... No, it is. Government guys reading... It's def- Adam, reading believe me, you, that's the Patriot Act. You're trying to get nudes from girls. Huh? Yeah. They have they sh- all those. They, they have shouldn't all read those, those either. They shouldn't. I agree. I'm a patriot, but fuck the Patriot Act. How about that for a take? Oh, I agree, too. And also abolish ICE. You see they fucking... De- they're just deporting people. They found some guy's wallet who was already applying for a green card. And they're like, hey, we found your wallet. <laughs> and then they called him, and then they're just deporting his ass. Back to Brazil. Oh, God. Where Brazil seems fucked up, bro. Yeah, they just... They're electing a fascist. Damn, we're fucked, huh? Yeah. Global warming is going to fuck our asses, and it's going to be f- fucking fascist again. Yep, but we're going to be broadcasting into the abyss, folks. And Cory Booker's going to run for fucking president. How about global horning? And in 40 years, everybody becomes horny. I love that. That, that would, would be a be beautiful great. change. If we could do global horny. Okay, how about that? We run, and that's our platform. We turn global warming into global horny. Mm-hmm. Everyone sucks and fucks. Yeah. Maybe the cum can, if we come enough, we get cum. We mist it. We make it turn into a mist. That, it's so sticky, it, it closes up the hole in the ozone layer. Oh, that'd mm-hmm. be cool. Yeah, you get a big bucket of cum and hook it up to one of those paint sprayers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And, you, and then you just go around, to... you go around Midtown painting women until the cops stop. No, no, not what women. What are paint sprayers? You know, there's like oh, yeah, compressors yeah, yeah. Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, compressor. No, no, we have to, we'd have to take a hot air balloon all the way up. That would be a hilarious up. crime. Some guy with a backpack filled with cum. <laughs> like Mario Paint? Like, a, like, like mm-hmm. Mario yeah, Sunshine Mario or whatever? Sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a back, Wear the back Mario of Sunshine cum. outfit. <laughs> and then you just go around Times Square painting like middle-aged women from yeah, he's, Minneapolis. They're like, what the fuck? And you're just painting them with cum. <laughs> Yeah, he's bombing. Welcome to New York, bitch. <laughs> he's bombing the city, dude. He's doing tags. I would love to read an Come article about something like that happen. There shouldn't be a, pe- a penalty for that. Well, there was a story. Somebody sent me, not even a story. Somebody told me they got a friend that works for, like, uh, the Secret Service, which doesn't really make sense, but there was this guy. Yo, my boy. <laughs> this guy was, like, they caught him. He was sending the... Uh, 
musical instruments to disabled kid, poor kids or whatever on the country, and he was coming and all the flute mouthpieces. Oh, my God. And he sent out, like, thousands of flutes to kids, and the Why kids were, the like, playing the flute suit? and, like, putting the cum on their mouth. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's yeah. just a prank. And he's beating off That's like, that? you know, that's like that, that prompt, like, if you had a button that killed somebody anywhere in the world, but it's like, you had a button... That makes you come because of the knowledge that somebody else is eating your cum a million miles away, but mm-hmm. you don't know who it is. Would you press it? And that guy's like, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, I get it. I, I mean, if I had that button, maybe. But is he? I guess he is coming, huh? Yeah. Damn, dude, just some kid putting cum in their mouth. Coming before the fact, though, like you're beating off to the idea of somebody putting that flute on their mouth. Not somebody, like, a disabled kid. You're beating off to the idea of a poor kid putting your cum, their cum in your mouth through the flute. And so presumably you're beating off to that idea, and then you come on the flute. Mm-hmm. At that point, you've you already, already come. come. Yeah, I know. Why are you still... What the fuck are you doing? Don't mail mm-hmm. it. I know. I should be this guy's life coach. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, just keep the. But flute. maybe it's sort of like he's planting seeds because it's like maybe he'll be down sometime, and he'll want to get horny and think about someone eating his cum. You know, mm-hmm. just kind of not condoning his behavior, just kind of trying to figure out exactly what he's getting at. Mm-hmm. A lot of irons in the fire, you know. Do you think he has pictures of those kids? Is he thinking about, or is he, are they just abstract people? For the price of a cup of coffee a day. And then that guy's like, can we just send a cup of coffee? (laughs) 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 With cream in it. (laughs) Damn, that's how that dentist did. He just would squirt cum, but I guess he watched it. The McDonald's character? I looked it up. That guy's not a McDonald's character. So he's just a guy. Yeah, I went through the whole list. It didn't have, I mean, this whole time, everybody everybody thought that McDonald's had a cum dentist dentist Uh character. But I guess guess they don't. (laughs) Dude, I'm so excited for fall. I feel so much better. Mm-hmm. I so hate the looking. summer, dude. We did kind of, we are going, we're kind of missing a nice chunk of fall, actually. No, we're going to get nice fall, too. I looked up the weekly forecast this week in Tokyo. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's it looking like? It's between 69 and 72. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Can it's we fuck some Japanese porn stars? Yeah. Uh, awesome. Yeah, but your dick has to be blurred out while you do it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on in my cock? Yeah, just walking around the street. What's the deal with the fucking blurred out dicks? <laughs> What's going on over here? It's going to be so hard for me not to do the voice. I'm actually really worried about it. Yeah. Just doing because people are going to say shit to me in the voice, yes. and then I'm going to lose. I'm going to. Without I mean, I th- saw you laughing at a gay man dancing the other night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I knew what was going on. <laughs> and I was like, don't make eye contact with him. It's only going to get worse if we because sh- we'll lock eyes and laugh about it together. <laughs> Where was this? I can't say, but I Where? saw you doing it. I don't want to say. So don't say it, but tell me. T- at- I didn't, I, there was no gay man dancing there. There was. I saw it. I I guarantee. Nick you. and I were laughing at just a fat gay guy ordering donuts. Well, I didn't. To be, let me clarify. <laughs> That's I wasn't laughing at the fact that he was gay. I was laughing was at the fact voice. that he was a big fat nerd wearing tivas, and he was yeah. like. Um, one uh, Dolce de Leche, please. Ah, <laughs> uh, Dolce de Leche. No, that's not what he sounded like, dude. <laughs> yeah, he had like a lady's voice. No, he was like a big fat nerd. He was like, one uh, Dolce de Leche, please. <laughs> How do you guys know he was gay then? Uh, Adam, because I didn't he had even th- a lady's voice. I didn't even think he was gay. I thought he was a nerd. And oh, then immediately he was after sure Adam was like, we're just laughing at a gay guy. I'm like, sure, he could be gay also. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? I have, That's I the kind of bully I am. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. I'm non-discriminating, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love those people make... like, <laughs> yeah, I'm not racist. I hate everybody equally. That's right. cool. Except kind of blacks a little a bit little, more. Just a pinch more. Just and a, Jews also. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Okay, and okay, Muslims as well. But after that, yeah. Chinese a half step less than them, but also more than white but people. But I respect them because they're respect- smarter. <laughs> I respect them because they spit inside. <laughs> and Indians, again, I, I'm racist even though they're smart too. I hate them too. Suck my penis, lick my balls, and fuck my ass. Oh, I yep. saw Mandy, guys. Oh, yeah? It fucking ruled. I saw Candy. I heard it's great. And it, it was ruled. your ass. It's good? It ruled. Oh, yeah, Nikki Cage? It. it fucking ruled. Maybe, maybe I'll see it tonight. 
You can see it on demand. No, on I just, I've been told by numerous people you got to see it in the theater. theater. I saw it at home, but uh, I'm sure it was better in the theater. But, I got a big uh, theater setup. Is Maybe it scary? I mean, you have fucking surround scary? sound, uh, Dolby is it scary? 10.1, and this amazing TV. I mean, if we fucking close the blinds. Is it scary? Yeah, uh, I don't get scared. <laughs> but yeah, it's scary. It's, it, yeah, it's oh, you don't get scared, but it's scary. It's a movie. How are you going to oh get scared? Oh, my God. Answer the fucking question. Is it a scary movie? It's a scary movie. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 so yeah. the answer is yes. Yeah, Adam, Adam was yeah. in fear so much in his regular life. Oh, he'd yeah. never <laughs> be frightened by a movie. I I love that. Yo, I'm not going to get afraid of a movie. I'm a giant coward that... <laughs> Shrivels up any time another man is on the same side of the sidewalk as me. That's not even true. Don't tell I've people seen you. this thing. I see, I've seen you every time a black person passes. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> he's, he's like, can we? Go? Actually, I don't want to go get a coffee. He's running back inside. Super oh, professional. He ordered, he ordered food. He ordered food. How long? We, how long did you order? How long ago was the food? That was a while. Yeah. Yeah, because this episode's almost done. Yeah, we're almost done here. I have a hard ass fucking dick. I'm so excited to go to dude, Japan. This dude, this rules. This is gonna be fucking awesome. I know. This is the last good thing we're ever gonna do, dude. Oh yeah. This Podcast is gonna go downhill. Yeah, and this. A lot. Many say it already has. Nah, nah, that's not true. But it will soon. It, Don't yeah. get me wrong. So we get. A, we need new sponsors. I I just want this show to transition into an hour long live read. We we're almost there. You do, now, let's do the bo Oh fuck, the next one's a bonus. You do you do one should, one one company an episode and you charge them eight hundred million dollars. Love it. Then you gamble all of that on the Carlos Slim fund. <laughs> that's right. That's right. You put that in there. You seated your the, the spot on the couch, Adam. How does that feel? That's fun. Yeah. I'll stand the rest of the up. Well, well it's almost over. It's almost um, over. So catch right. us in Japan. See us in uh, Australia. Australia, the twenty third, Sydney. The twenty uh, fifth Melbourne, twenty sixth Melbourne, twenty sixth Melbourne, twenty eighth Brisbane. I thought I had that memorized. And right. then I, th I am coming to Indianapolis on the 29th of November. Uh, uh, I think Cincinnati on the thirtieth, and I think Columbus on the first. And then in DC, I'm coming. My first. Uh, yeah, a, that's November. No, that's yeah, November into December, and then DC, the weekend of the seventh and eighth. I'm at the DC Draft House doing my first. Uh, Real Comedy Club weekend, four shows. Please come out. I could really use the numbers, gang. So see you then, everyone. And uh, we're about to get sucked off in Japan. Uh, the next time you'll hear from us will be... Well, actually, we're about to do another one. But uh, at some point, you'll hear from us in Japan. All right. Goodbye, everyone.